Twice a year, it's like we all go to boarding school. Pretty much. And it's like we all spend the guts of a month and a half seeing each other practically every day, sometimes all day and every night. <laughs> I mean, we're, we are very spoiled. Imagine someone's always telling you, oh, you look so pretty. Oh, I love the way you look today. Or, You're so You look so beautiful. Can I give you $100,000? <laughs> <laughs> look, bro. <laughs> it's so weird. Yeah. It's another wall. By the time we get to Paris, it's one of those things, after three weeks, you're like, God, I can't wait for this one to be over. And like, go and like take a week off sleep and do nothing else but sleep. They put me in hair and makeup and I just sat there and tried to sleep as they I had like hair dryers on me and people poking like, you know, eye pencil in my eyes. It's been a lot of weeks of sleep deprivation. A lot of weeks of sparkles on the eyes, blue in the hair. Backstage, there are a ton of other people back there. You're nude or you're in your little thong or whatever. And then you're putting on your next outfit, running out and doing the same thing again. What do you think is the average age here? I think it's um, 17. 17, really? A lot of the girls who they're saying are anorexic are literally 14 years old. And when a girl's 14 years old and 5'9", she will sometimes will be 100 pounds. I never had like that perfect fit for the shows, you know? I wasn't as tall as the other girls, my hips were bigger. If you're having a new girl every six months, well, you, you only have to pay her the new girl rate, and she can be fabulous, and, and then you go, bye-bye. We want it to be different and new and exciting, so you're always after that next thing. So if we did it yesterday, we don't want to do it tomorrow. It's frustrating to feel like you're sort of um, disposable, you know, that there's such a high turnover rate. Three, two, one, 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 one